good to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Being able, Sister Wife, to feel His presence. Yes, thank the Lord. You know, thank the Lord. If we're here, He's going to be here because we brought Him with us. Thank the Lord. If it would, I'm going to be in the book of Daniel chapter 12 this morning. We're going to talk about the end times, the last days, uh, for a few minutes this morning. I tell you, I began to study on this, and it just went all over the Bible with it. <laughs> so I think... Uh, uh, Daniel, I don't think you got it in that New Testament. <laughs> but Daniel chapter 12, beginning in verse 1, if you dare say amen. 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 And this this is the vision that the angel brought to Daniel in it, in it. And at the time. And at that time shall Michael stand as the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And they, there shall be a time of trouble such as never before <coughs> since. There was a nation even to that same time, and that and at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Father, we thank you this morning for these few people that are here, God. We yes, ask you, Lord, that you would just touch them and you would bless them, God, and you would let this word go forward and not return void, God. And we know you will, Lord. And we just give you the praise this morning in the precious name of your Son. You may be seated this morning. Uh, Daniel, Daniel's talking about, talking about the end time and the trouble that the world at that time, he was he was talking about Israel. The the angel of the Lord was showing him in this vision that that he was having that he that the trouble that Israel was going to face in in the years to come in the situations that they were going to face. But I want to tell you something this morning, church. We are already facing that that troubles and trials that the world's going through. Look at our country, what shape it's in. Look what's going on. Just as Daniel prophesied, look what's going on in Israel right now today. They're, they're fighting just to stay alive. So think about it today. But you know what? We serve a mighty God, and God is with Israel. He's got his hands on Israel, and he's going to keep them safe. I worry about our children out there in the world. Do they know what's about to take place? Do they know what's going to happen when this thing winds up. And I want to tell you something this morning. It's about to wind up. God fixing to send Gabriel out there and blow that trumpet and we're going to be brought home. Thank Come on, Lord. somebody. Yes, we're, going to, we're going to make it. Why? Because we're serving a God that's able to bring us out from among the world. My Bible tells me to come out from among them and be ye a separate people. Touch not. Touch not. The unclean things of this world. Thank you, Lord. So you think about it this morning. You know, Daniel just just scraping the surface about the whole chapter twelve. What he talk, what he actually talks about how how they're going to face this and how they're going to face that. And and today, you know, what are we facing in this world? Everything that the enemy has, he's throwing it at us, trying to tear us up, trying to break us down, trying to kill our children trying to take our loved ones. He, he's doing his job. But I want to tell you, God's about to step in and send his son to bring us home. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I feel it. I feel it this morning. God is a, a just God, and he is able. Thank uh, Lord. Turn with me to Jeremiah chapter 30. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 30. I want to read verses 6 and 7. 
Now, get my glasses on. This is, this is what the prophet Jeremiah was saying. Everybody there? Yes. Bad. Chapter 6 says, as you knew, it as you now and see whether a man doeth travail with child, where, wherefore I, do I see every man with his hand on his loins, as a woman is in travail. And all faces are turned into paleness. Verse number seven. This is what I meant. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. What's he talking about? What kind of trouble did Jacob have? In trouble. You know, he's talking about the end of time and how this world's going to end up, the troubles that we're going to face. And as I said earlier, you know, everything that the enemy, he has loaded up his arsenal and he's got it pointed at the United States right now. Yeah. And he's wreaking havoc over our country and our children and our children's children. You know, uh, but greater is he that's in us than he that's in this world. You know, sometimes we have to stop. In the midst of our troubles, we need to stop sometimes and bow a knee and get down to business with God and let let God take care of this situation. There's nothing we can do about it. You know, I got children that need to be in church. You got children that need to be in church. We got loved ones that need to be here. They're laying in their on their deathbed this morning, but yet they 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 don't wanna they don't wanna get up. Their children don't wanna get up. They don't wanna honor God. They don't wanna do nothing because they're afraid that they're going to miss something out there in this world that the enemy is going to let them have, you know. But I'm going to tell you this morning, I don't care what the devil's got out there. I got more on the inside of me, on this heart, in this heart, than the enemy will ever have in his. Come on, somebody. Amen. He loves us unconditionally. Amen. He sent his son to die for us on that cross. That that day that he stood and, and took those stripes and, and everything in Isaiah, it was all for us. Man. It was all for us. Everything he done was for us. Right. But it's all leading up. Sister White, it's all you, leading Lord. up to this time. So, you know, if, if you go back to Daniel chapter 2 and verse 28, Daniel said this. You ain't got to turn there if you don't want to. But Daniel said this, so there is a God in heaven that can reveal things, secret things to us. Right. Come on. So yeah. God, when God starts revealing things to us, just as he did Daniel, and that part there in, in chapter 2, it was talking about the dream that Nebuchadnezzar had. Right. But Daniel told, told Nebuchadnezzar, he said, there is a God in heaven. Right. That can reveal these secret things. Yeah. So I'm going to tell you something. There's nothing that you can hide from God. There's nothing that God don't know because He is omnipotent. Yeah. He knows everything, and He's in charge of everything. So the yeah. devil, the devil has to go and get God's permission exactly. before, he, before he jumps on us. Right. You know, and, and we do. We go through trials every day situation we we come up here and we preach and, and we try to live right for the Lord and Amen. we see our children out there you know doing the things of the world that that they don't need to be doing and it hurts it hurts it hurts hard you know because they were raised right they were raised in church they know better but yet they've chosen they took a side they've chosen to live that way, and there's nothing that we can do except pray for them. Right. You know, I hear my wife praying sometimes for her children, for especially for our grandchildren. You know, they, they're our grandchildren. 
they they don't they don't come to church because don't drink at all. Well, they wouldn't raise in church for one thing, but their parents would, and and they need to know. They need to know what's in this word. They need to know that this thing, just as Daniel is talking about in chapter 12, this thing is going to wind up. Jeremiah said it. Daniel said it. You know, it's going to wind up. And Paul even said it in Thessalonians chapter 4. You know, we'll be caught up in the air. You know, those that were dead will be raised up and caught up in the air to be with Jesus. To be with God. You know, so one day, one day this thing's going to wind up. If you would go with me to Matthew chapter 24. What was that? I'm sorry. Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24. I guess I, need I, to go. Stop I guess I need to go there too. Matthew chapter 24, verse 36. I should put that Bible back up. 24 and what? 36. 36. Beginning in verse 36. You get there, say amen. Amen. Says, but of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in those days that were before the flood, there were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And knew not until the flood came and took him all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So there's a there's a reckoning coming, just as it was, just as Jesus is talking about here, as it was in the day of Noah. You know, it's going to happen. It's going to be total destruction, Brother White. And and the Bible says that it's going to melt the earth with fervent heat. You know, the fire and brimstone. So I want to I wanna tell you this morning, if you ain't ready, that's what Jesus is talking about. Be watchful. Wait. Right. Let them know yeah. that it's time that they begin to get, get their priorities in line and begin to lift up the name of Jesus yeah. and, and God and, and serve Him. Because there's coming a time when they're not going to be able to. You know, when that trumpet sounds it's going to be too late so you think about it this morning if you don't know him Jesus is telling them he said y'all be watchful because it's coming I'm telling you ahead of time that it's coming so be watchful be ready don't let the devil deceive you no more lift up your eyes toward heaven what which cometh your street and hell you know you got to we got to be ready because if we're not ready we're going to be left here Amen. And I've struggled. I've, I've preached and I've done everything I know to do to make it. And I'm going to continue to do that. Uh, a lot of preachers nowadays, they'll give up and they'll walk out of the churches, leave the churches empty with no pastors or nothing anymore because they get discouraged because they don't have a, a, a 9,000 people in the church. Right. But I want to tell you something. It ain't about the numbers. Right. It's Come about on. the... My, my, my. It's, it's, about, it's about feeling that Spirit of God living yeah. within us. Right. Yeah. 
It's about the Holy Ghost that dwells right. in us. Right. You know, one day, one day we're going to stand before God. Right. Every man, every man will see God. Whether it be at the white throne of judgment or the judgment seat of Christ. Right. I want to be at the judgment seat. That white throne judgment is for those that are still living in right. sin and, right. and, and doing wrong and all that stuff. But that judgment seat of Christ, we're going to be judged for what we done and what we have in this heart and the way we lived our lives. Yeah, right. Come on, somebody. We're messengers. Yeah. We're messengers just to his disciples. He sent them out and he told them, he said, you go. He said, take nothing with you. He said, you just go and, and do what I've told you to do. Right, come on. And he said, those that won't receive you, he said, just knock the dust off your feet and don't go back that way. Go right. the other way. Right. Yeah. You know, me and Brother White was talking this morning about, about things, you know, and how, how our children don't want to even step foot in the church or, or nothing like that. But Sister White, they're going to see one day. Uh, my mother used to tell me this not very nice but she used to tell us she said one day that you'll look down in that old casket and you'll see that face my face laying there she said but I want to tell you right now don't worry about me because I know where I'll be you see that that that's where we make our mistake we want to worry about everything in this world it's a sin to worry. You're not supposed yeah. to worry. But she said, said when you look down in there, said you 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 think about what I've told you. Said and don't worry about me because I got peace. Said I don't yeah. have to suffer no more. Yeah. One day we're gonna face Amen. it. Cause, <laughs> Cause every every man, the Bible says has to die you know yeah, that's, been it, that's right they're appointed it's appointed unto man to die so we're going to face death one day if the lord don't come back to get us just like jesus is talking about in matthew chapter 24. one day we're going to face we're going to face that death but you know what i'm trying to hold out I'm trying to hold out for the rapture because I want to be caught up in the air. I want to go just like Paul said in Thessalonians. I want to be caught up in the air with the Lord. One day, one day, these people say, well, you know, it, it ain't never going to happen. You know, I've done this and I've done that. I've told, been told all my life that the, the rapture was about to take place, but I haven't seen it yet. You know what? One day, when we're being out there having a party, like Jesus is talking about, being married and giving him marriage, partying and doing the things of the world, you know, one day we're going to be called unaware. Right. Yeah. But are you going to be ready when it's time, whenever the rapture comes, are you going to be ready when Gabriel steps out on that, out, out on that cloud and begin to blow that horn? It's going to be too late. It's all over. It's all over. But I want to tell you something today. Get your heart ready. Just as Jesus was talking about. Be watching. Get your heart ready. Because if this heart's not ready, Corinthians said that there'll be no corruptible things enters into the kingdom of heaven. Our corruption will put on incorruptible you got to put on that incorruptible sister white to enter into the kingdom of heaven there'll be no sin no corruption nothing like that think about it today how how joyful that place will be you know i i, I think about it sometimes and it just just thrills my heart to know Brother White, that one day we'll walk those streets of gold. Yeah, yeah. If we live, if we live the life, you know, I can, I can look, uh, I, 
I can look and, and I can see almost that in my mind, that street that's a pure gold, Sister White. The crystal sea, you know, the gates of pearl. I can see all that sometimes in my mind. And, and it makes me happy to know that I've made a decision. I've made up my mind. I've packed up my bags, and I'm ready to go. Amen. You see, one day we're going to go on that journey. We're going to take that flight. Mm -hmm. We're going to have no wings. Our gravitation would just be pulled up. So one day, it's going to happen. You know, I told, him, told Marie this morning, I said, I wish there was a, a thousand people here. You know, but it ain't, it ain't about, it ain't about the numbers. Just like I said earlier, it's not about the numbers. It's about what's in our heart and about what we bring with us. You can go to the biggest church in, in Bay County. Right. And if you don't bring God with you, it ain't a church. It ain't, that's right. That's true. Mm -hmm. Who is the church? We are. We're we the, are church. the church. We are the church. And we're the ones that bring God with us, you know. So many times I've, I've, I've sat in services, been to, been to churches that the it was just, well, you didn't get nothing. You walked in and you walked out the same way. <clears throat> Some of them, I couldn't even tell you what the preacher preached. Yeah. Because I was so confused, you know. But I thank God that he gave us this word. He allowed those prophets and, and the anointed men of God to write his word and, and to help us give us this road map that will lead us to victory over the enemy. Stand this morning, if you will. I know it's not a lengthy message, but I didn't intend it to be. I, I intended it to, to get the message across. Because this is a lost and dying world. Just as, just as Daniel said, and, and in Matthew, Jesus said, said this, I can see the, the near future and the far future. So he, he's telling us that in the near future that this is going to happen. But he said, I can also see the far future. He says, it's appointed unto man to die, but yet After this. then the judgment. So, so you think about it this morning. Is your heart right with God? Do you know him as your personal Savior? You know, I'm so thankful these little kids are here this morning because God works on their heart just like he does us, you know. Greater. A little kid can do a lot more than we can do sometimes. But, you know, we have to just lift up the name of God and keep serving him and doing right. A lot of times, a lot of times I get frustrated, and you do too. We're all human. We get frustrated and we just want to give up, throw in the hat, so to speak. But that's not going to help us. That's not going to help us make it. Right. Jesus said, be watchful. Watch, watch what's fixing to happen. <clears throat> so we, we got to be aware of what's about to take place. If we're not, we're going to be left here. And I, I'm, I'm not made this journey for over 35 years now to miss out. Right. So I've, I've prepared my heart, and I've, I can't say I've prepared my way, but God has prepared our way. That's right. He's That's laid right. down the rules and the guidelines. All we have to do is follow them. Right. So this morning, if you have a need, We'll pray for you, that God will just touch you. You know, I feel like that we need to come up and just stand here in front of this altar and, and pray for our children. Pray for our children. You know, we, we talk a lot about our children. 
but we need to bear down and begin to pray, pray for them. So, so you, you, this morning, this morning, call them out by name and just let the Lord know that, that he needs to touch them, that he needs to move in their lives. And I know he does. I know, I know he does. But And they sometimes, they don't realize it, Sister White. But we need to just lift him up for our children this morning, these grandkids, great-grandkids. <laughs> Whatever the case may be, we need to pray for them. I feel led to do that this morning. Amen. So let's just pray. Father, I thank you this morning for each and every one of my children. Lord, you see the hearts of them this morning, God, and you're able, Lord, to touch them, God. You're able, Lord, to tender that heart, God. Lord, just help them, Lord, before this thing winds up, God, just help them, Lord, to be ready, God, because they the time that you're coming when no man knows, God, but the angels in heaven. And Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you would touch their hearts this morning, each and every one of them, Sandra, Melissa, Crystal, uh, Felicia, Jamie, God, each and every one of them, God, I call them out to you this morning, Lord. God, that you would just touch them, God, and you would just tender their heart and move, God, right now, Lord. God, you see what they're going through. God, you see what they need, Lord. I pray this morning, God, as a father, Lord, and a mother, Lord, that you would just touch them, God, and bring them in, Lord. In the precious name of Jesus, God, we give you praise, Lord. We know that you're able, God, this morning, Lord. Lord, we put them in your hands, Father. Lord, we've done, Lord. There's nothing that we can do, God. But God, you're the Alpha, you're the Omega. God, you're the beginning and the end. God, this morning, Lord. Lord, we just give them to you, Lord. We lift them up right now, Father. Lord, we ask you to build a hedge of protection about them today, God. But most of all, God, we ask that you would set that conviction into their hearts and move, God, in their lives, God, today, Lord. God, this Father, this morning, thank you, Lord. This mother, God, thank you, Lord. This grandparents, God, thank you this morning, Lord. You just touch God today, Lord. Yes, God, have your way, God. Lord, I pray for this church, Deliver your message. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would just move, God, in this church, God. Whatever you want, God. Whatever you want, God. Lord, I turn it over to you today, God. So just move, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He's a good God. Amen. Brother White, yes, I'm going to leave it up to you about the night. Well, 